welcome back to another Pokemon stream, your first Pokemon stream, whatever it is. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome on in and happy Friday. Hello, freaking Luya. It is finally Friday and dang, Nitty has been going off. Hello. Okay, lovely people. So, uh, I forgot to do one thing. So I'm going to go do that now, which is manage the uh, follower goal because we need to update that because last stream we did hit 300 followers so on to 500 <laughs> hopefully um yeah on to 500 we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna do 500 we're gonna do 500 Sup, Symbio? How you doing? Savage, welcome on in. I have updated the follower goal because I forgot to do that yesterday. So, we're doing it today. Um, I think I'm pretty much all set up, except the sh You guys can't see this, but you can probably hear it. A Shinx just ran into me. Wow. Is your Michael super- Oh. Wait, is this better? This should be better. Is this good? Are we good now? Are we bad now? Did I mess something up? Off to a great start. Off to a great start. Did I mess something up? Because I didn't change any settings. Oh gosh. Hold on. Oh no. This is all normal? Oh. Wait, hold on. She's good? I'm good? Cuz... The only thing- okay, hold on. Uh, that's not gonna work. I just put the camera up. Uh... Right. Can, you, can you see the spinny thing? So... This is like max, and this was like all the way there, so... I usually have it on the second dot. I usually have it on the second dot and it was like all the way down and I think I need to. Okay, I'll figure out the cables later. <laughs> I'll figure out the cables later. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. You're fine? I'm fine? Actually, I'm tired. But what's new? Second dot, why so low? Because I found, but I've been using it on the second dot like literally like every single Every single stream like every stream since since like at least like two or three months ago or more actually like since like a month or two after I got the mic I don't remember when I got this mic I'll be fair I don't remember but since about a month or two after I got this mic I've always had the mic set to the second dot because I feel like the room is still quite a bit echoey and I feel like the second dot actually ends up working best for like volume wise but also echoey wise so like I don't know what does the OBS lights go to? it goes to almost yellow it doesn't quite go to yellow it goes to almost yellow if I scream it'll go to yellow I'm not gonna scream right now <laughs> not gonna scream right now but I think it's good I mean it's on the low side, but I haven't changed anything! I haven't changed anything! How, how can it be? Was it good last stream? Was it? When you were here on Wednesday, did I sound okay? Because it's the exact same settings. <laughs> Nothing's changed. <laughs> I had my game volume on and I thought you were muted. That's how low the volume was. Bro, I don't know what to tell you. It's the exact same settings as every other stream for the past, I don't even know how many months. I know what to tell you. I really don't. I haven't changed anything. The cats could have rubbed on the tourney dial. Yes, they could have, but now I've turned the dial again to the second dot, which is where it's usually at. So, like... 
I am capable of of rotating the dial on the microphone. I hope you know that, right? I know I'm the queen of pressing random buttons, but I can do that. Yes, but like no one else touches my computer settings, so the only thing that they could have touched would be the dial on the mic. And I can see when that's not right. And then fix it by just turning the dial. I don't understand how the math is not mathing right now. How's the math not mathing? It's Friday. But that doesn't explain it. <laughs> it's Friday, but that doesn't explain it. Nobody touches my computer but me. Nobody goes on my computer but me. So nobody would mess with any settings on my computer but me. And I can assure you, I didn't do that, okay? Because I didn't got time. Didn't have time to mess with the settings. So the settings are the exact same as for the past, like, months of streams. Months worth of streams. Jasmine's in the room. The argument you make, I didn't change anything, falls into the water because you don't live alone. But nobody touches my computer but me. <laughs> and the dial is in the correct position right now. I've turned the dial to the right place! But not at the start of stream, but now it's fine. So ever, since you said like I'm on the low side, I turned the dial and now it's fine. I forgot to check it. That happens sometimes. <laughs> My goodness. Well then, I'm a, I'm a go. Well, I'm blurry. Can I unblur? I get closer. So stream, it goes to that. No, the dial was already done, and I forgot to recheck to make sure it's undid. I am sorry to disappoint, but I am wearing the exact same sweatpants I've been wearing the entire week. Um, there's one leg, there's a second leg. Also, Captain Marvel Warbird version shirt. Very cute. I got it from Think Geek before they shut down their online store. I'm very happy with the shirt, it's very comfortable. And it's pretty. I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, Jasmine, you good? Anyway. Jasmine has like a little part of a blanket in her mouth and is doing like the biscuits thing. Yeah. I don't think she's done that in a while, but her eyes are closed. She's having fun. What does it matter if you wear sweats multiple days? It's not like you work in them, so they last longer. That's what I do. What? Yeah, I know, but I could have made it fun and wore like different sweatpants to like try and match the shirt, but I, di I didn't do that. I didn't have the patience for that. Sometimes I will do that. Sometimes I will choose my sweatpants according to the shirt I've worn during that day so that it sort of matches. Um, but I, I just couldn't be bothered this week. <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered. Anyways, guys, we got some shiny hunting to do. So let's go do that, shall we? Because... We got shinies to hunt, and I'm somewhat still in the middle of a battle with Shinx. So, we gotta go take care of that as well. So, here we go. Bring! My controllers are charged. My headphones are charged. The mic is on. The game is on. The camera is on. I think we're good to go. Wait, is the wheel up? The wheel is up! We are good. We're just gonna take care of the Shinx and then get started. Lights, camera, sleepy time. No action, just sleepy time. Okay. Let's do this. There is a cloth. Let's just check the surroundings first because you never know. There's a sparkle. 
You never know what the surroundings might, might bring us. So, yeah. But yeah, I am honestly so freaking happy that it's the weekend. Like, honestly, I could not be happier that it's the weekend tomorrow. Yesterday, I left work thinking it was Friday. I was very disappointed when I found out that I was very, very much wrong. And yesterday was not Friday, because that was today. So. Witness the disappointing Friday 2.0. Because yesterday was Friday in my head. I don't care. You can say whatever you want. Yesterday was Friday, and today's Friday again. Also, I kept chewing on my lips and now they burn. Well, I wouldn't say burn, but they like hurt. Because I'm an idiot. Alrighty, let's go see. First things first. We know the drill. We gotta go check if there's a love disc outbreak. Tasha's lips on fire. Yeah, and I didn't even have spicy food because I can't deal with spicy food. So like that that makes no sense Okay, first things first. Do we have any love disc outbreaks? We have a Loma Mola outbreaks. Do a Loma Mola. Do a Loma Mola. Do a Loma Mola. Do a Loma Mola. Bring love disc as well. Is the main question. There's those dudes. Not really. There's not really a lot of outbreaks. Oh, there's a bombardier outbreak over here. So I went and got my intern paper signed yesterday and met the people there. Ooh. Okay. I sounded like a vacuum cleaner just now. <laughs> Do you want to uh, share the news? It was so chill. It was a fun first meeting. Hey, first good impressions. Good first impressions! <laughs> Tiny vacuum dude, I sound like a vacuum cleaner just now. Like, holy crap. Uh, should I just try? And see if where the Aloma Mola is, is like, also... Things? Coop says no, because they're not related. Also, that's so awesome for you, Savage. Hi, Nitty! How you doing, Nitty? <laughs> Come on, Nitty, your way of writing is distinct from Symbio's. You guys have distinct writing styles recognizable safri hello welcome on in how are we doing today happy friday okay so there's a loma mola but do a loma mola bring love disc as well that is the question i don't think they do that's very sad. No, they don't. It's a different species, I know, but usually they're together. Usually you see a little Momola with like a flock of lust, love disc around it. I almost said lost disc. Discs are not lost. They are not lost. Okay, so this is definitely not bringing us love disc, like, whatsoever. So, let's just go somewhere. Let's go somewhere and just... Oh, wait, there's a raid over here. Let's just check this raid. And then we're gonna start shiny hunting. We beat the record yesterday. Or yesterday, on Wednesday. <sighs> on Wednesday, we beat our record of getting shinies. We got five shinies in a single stream. Oh, crap. I think I misplaced something. Was that a shiny ice cube? No, it wasn't. 
Don't, don't play. Don't play like that. Yes, Simbi, I will hydrate. It looked like it? Well, it's definitely despawned by now, which is a thing. Uh, I guess we can check if maybe... So I am at 43. Let's just check. We can check. So we got... I'm going to count with my finger because that's faster. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 33, 34, 35, 36. 37, 38. No, 37. 37, 38. 39. 40, 41, 42. No, because the evolutions count as well. Okay, let me start counting again. So this is two. And this is one. So that's three. And that's four, five, six. Because the three evolutions. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. No, I didn't miss a shiny. Whew. Yes, the evolutions count. The evolutions count. We we actually tested this. We actually tested this when we evolved. Uh, I, I don't remember if it, if it was when we evolved Tink or if it was when we evolved uh, Swalot. But we did test this, and the evolutions do count. The only thing that doesn't count is if you get more than one. So I had a whooper that I evolved into Clot Sire, and then I got a second whooper. That second whooper doesn't count. So it's literally per, like, dex entry. So I could have missed shinies of the same Pokemon that I already have shiny. And it, I would not know. All right, well then. Let us spin the wheel of shiny hunts and see what happens. Honestly, Bombardier would be a really good one to get right now. Guys, are you ready to spin the wheel? I've added, I've actually added Ice Q to the wheel. I didn't have Ice Q in the wheel last time, but I did add it this time. So it's right there. Let's see what happens. Spin that wheel, but first I gotta find that mouse. There we go. Three, two, one, go! Marape! Wow, we are going off with the electric types, aren't we? Okay. The wheel has decided. We shall hunt for Marape. Where do I have a Marape gif? Sprite thing. Where's Marape? Here's my reap. We are hunting for the pink. I'm testing evolving my cricket. Okay, but if you if you already have a cricket tune, it's not gonna show. So you'd need to try and evolve one you don't have shiny yet in the decks. Okay, so let's go find where we have my reap. It does work. See, I told you. I told you we tested it. <laughs> We rushed apart between Safi saying hello and shiny scare and can confirm you all good. Yay! Mareep. Where is Mareep? Mareep, oh Mareep, where are you, my sheep? Here you are. Okay, so just essentially that area. Gotcha. Unless I just miss a shiny. Hey, I can't speak for you on that department. All I can say is it definitely works. 
The best way to test this is to actually get that done in an area where there's no Pokemon spawns. Because that way, like, you know for sure you can't miss a shiny while you're doing that. Okay, so Mareep would be this area, so we're just gonna fly over here. Let's do it. Fly over here. I think I still have enough yellow paprika, paprika. Peppers. Anyway. Let's go find Mareep. Let's go find the little Mareep cluster before we make a sandwich. A little cluster of Mareep. Okay. We have a little cluster of Mareep, but it's kind of really close to this edge and I don't want any Pokemon to spawn over here. Oh, there's multiple clusters of Mareep over here. Oh, they're so freaking cute. Okay, let's go, let's go do this. Uh, I'll register sign. <clears throat> oh well, I, I, I had to talk a lot today. My voice is cracking. All registered shinies are also visible in your Pokedex, so you can go through it to see what shiny versions you have online. Wait, how do I do that? I want to see that. So you just do this? Oh wait, let me go to something that I do have shiny. So you just do this, and then... Oh! Okay! Okay! So it will actually tell you that you have a shine. It will show the shiny first, actually, right? Let me just confirm if it shows the shiny first. It does show the shiny. Cool! That is pretty neat. Okay, let's go make a sandwich. Let's go make a sandwich. So we hunt Mareep. <laughs> I will always and forever press the wrong button. A cucumber, pickle, one of each, and then three peppers. And now we do... One sweet and one salty. Why not? Let's be fun. Let's be fun. See? This one's pink! Peppers, peppers, more bell peppers. I like these easier sandwiches, where things are just flat. Uh-oh. That one was moving a lot. As I say that. Easier sandwiches that are just flat and then the thing moves. Oh gosh. A highly unstable sandwich where things just keep moving. I should be scared. Oh gosh, I made it! I made it! Good evening, sir! How you doing, Polly? You have made it, and... Sir, sir, I apologize, but, um... On Wednesday, I kind of beat my record of how many sh shinies I could get in a stream, and, um, we got five. Um, I, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, um, but we got five shinies, and I think maybe I'm pretty good now, after the Vula fiasco. <laughs> Alright, let's get electric. Oh no, don't tell me you're hunting another sheep. Yes, I am! <laughs> 
We're hunting for Marie. It's pink and cotton candy like. Hey, fellas, I was gone too. I passed out. <laughs> and are you allowed to pass out? Are you? I don't remember giving permission. <laughs> Look at all the shape! I might see you in a year. I mean, you're gonna be missing a ton of shinies if this keeps going on like this. We've been averaging four shinies per stream, except Wednesday's stream, which was a whopping five shinies. I'm still not sure how we did that. Just exhausted. Exhausted will do that. Exhaustion will do that to you, yeah. That, that's kind of the body telling you like, yup, nope, go to sleep. Ooh, Safi, thank you for the shiny luck. This is a very nice area to Hunting, because you can just keep driving. And things will spawn, and things will despawn, and I'm just gonna spin around in loopy loops like we're all gonna get dizzy. Spent whole freaking afternoon today, got myself new gaming room, big ass electric chair, a big chair, and new TV. It took me like five hours to do everything. I'm dead. Oh, still fancy, sir. Look at you getting yourself a gaming setup. So tired but that's because I had to hunt down people today well not not physically I wasn't running around like a maniac trying to hunt people okay I meant like at work it was time had the same stuff for like like years yeah that that does explain that it was time yes Hello, Safri. We're going strong. Azumarill is already level 45. We're doing good. We're doing good. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. Go grab stuff. So why do you chase people when you work on answering phone calls? Well, because if the people don't tell me the information that I need so we can tell our clients, I need to go and hunt people down so that I can do that. But except that today I spent the entirety of the afternoon hunting one of our suppliers down who's in the netherlands only for my dad to then be like you've wasted a lot of time it's a national holiday they'll be closed which i had completely forgotten about because today's the 5th of may um So I spent the entire afternoon just calling them and trying to figure out why the hell they weren't answering me. Uh, only for my dad to then say uh, that I, I, it was a holiday so they weren't going to be there. Today's a holiday in the Netherlands? Yes, and I'm pretty sure yesterday was too. It's, I, I, I'll be honest, not 100% sure what it's called, but I think it has something to do with the world wars. So, if that's truly the case, then people in the Netherlands have only worked two days. 
this week because I'm pretty sure the 1st of May is also a national holiday there. Tomorrow's national holiday in the UK. And what kind of national holiday is that if you uh, if you happen to know? Poland had holidays on the 1st and the 3rd. Yeah, we had it on the 1st, which is like Workers' Day. King's Coronation. Oh, right! Yeah, I forgot about that, even though I've had like 10 people talk to me about the King's Coronation being tomorrow. Um... <laughs> my brain's doing fine, guys. My brain's doing fine. So fine. Uh, in one week, my course is over. Yeah! Is that a bad thing? It was a holiday here like a week and a bit ago. Yeah. May 1st is Labor Day. Yeah, May 1st is Labor Day. I was, I, I, I call it Workers' Day just because Portuguese is Dia do Trabalhador, which literally translates to the day for the workers or of the workers. And it's a day where the workers don't work. <laughs> Sam, hello. How are you, sir? So yeah, we also get May 1st. Um, and then we get nothing until... I think mid-June. And I think in mid-June, if we're lucky... If we're lucky, in mid-June we'll have two holidays. One one week and another one the next week. Because the 10th of June is like the fixed date holiday, so it's always on the 10th of June. So if that shows up on a weekend, then that's not worth anything to us. Um, <laughs> but that's Portugal Day. Uh, and then we have a Thursday in June, which is something religious. So. That's been crazy the last few weeks, but otherwise, loading along. Hope everyone's doing good. We are all tired. No, I can I can only speak for myself. How much time do I have left on the sandwich? 23 minutes. Read what I said. Wait, I missed it? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. The more little design. Coronation? Wait, what's that supposed to mean? I don't understand what that means. The more little design? What? You didn't hear? No! Characters have mowed a giant symmetrical into the lawn of a venue where a major correlation. Oh my goodness! No, I did not hear about that! I did, in fact, not hear about that. Okay. Like, as a prank? As a protest? Uh, as a teenager's being dumb and doing dumb stuff kind of thing? Like, what's the backstory? Probably all of it. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a link. Hold on. I don't know if that works. Uh, I don't know either. I don't have Twitter, so... Why is it asking me to turn on notifications? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I mean... They could have made it a little bit nicer. That's just lines, okay? They could have got they could have gone artsy with it. You know, don't ju don't just graffiti it on the lawn. <laughs> My goodness. Honestly, I've heard, I've heard like very m mixed things about like the corn. Oh, it's already got hair from the grass. It's literally mowed in. Yeah, but like the lines could have been. Oh, <gasps> ho ho ho! The lines 
could have been the shiny Mareep. First one of the day, let's go. Okay, so honestly, Heal Ball matches it to a T. It's got the blue, it's got the yellow, it's got the pink. Let's go. A year passed so fast. Oh, come on, Poli. I've gotten better at this. Especially in this game. The odds are too broken. That was quick. Right? I'm telling you, shiny odds in this game are ridiculous. They're broken. They, they are broken. It cried. I got myself shiny Marie. All right, now to see. Yeah, that, that took like 10 minutes. But we have a get good emote. I, but maybe I got good? <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna say I got good because I still very much so suck at raids. Um, okay, so do i keep hunting for mareep and see if i can get the whole collection or do we move on to something else i don't actually know what to do with the last with the next 20 minutes of sandwich tad bulb we got the tad bulb we got the tad bulb dude I didn't even need glasses for it so Last stream was like, do we tell Politasha actually got good? No, because like, I'm still not, I, I was thinking about that afterwards. And I'm like, I'm not good at raids still. So there's still a reason to keep the get good mode. Thank you for correcting yourself, Savage. Appreciate it, sir. Pikachu? I mean, I guess I could just go back to... I could just go back to where we ended stream on Wednesday and see if, like, something pops up. Because, like, there's the, the Pommies and the... And the, the Shinx and stuff like that are over there, so, like... Maybe, it, maybe I'll just pop in there for the next, like, 20-odd minutes. That would be a good idea, actually. My life makes no sense anymore. Don't worry, you still have plenty of opportunities to use the get good emote, Polly. Especially if I'm doing raids. Because I get carried. Because I'm not good. Okay, so maybe I just go back over here. And we'll just see what happens. <laughs> just see what happens. I don't, I don't know. We got like hordes of Shinx and like Pommies over here. Those are all electric types, so. so I guess this could be an option. There was two things certain in life. We have to die someday and Tasha will never get good. But when now? Do we live forever? Uh, I, f I mean, honestly, is that an option? Because if that's on your options list, then yeah, maybe. I mean, that was suck. I mean, technically, if everyone lives forever, at some point, nobody would be able to continue living. Because, like, there would be no more resources and everyone would just be hungry and sad. Wait, is this a boosty one? It's not. Do I do this raid? Should we do this? I mean, I'm in the middle of a sandwich, so maybe later.
We are sandwiching it up right now. Check Discord. What, uh... What am I looking at? Ah! Yeah, I know, but like, I don't really care for shiny Pikachu, if I'm being honest. I think there's nicer Pokemon that we can hunt. Like, Shinx is a really nice shiny. It's very noticeable. Pomo is on my list. So... I think we're just prioritizing those, and then... At some point, if we don't get the shiny Pomo, at some point we're gonna end up making a Pomo sa uh, a sandwich, another, uh, another electric sandwich for shiny hunting the Pomo, so... If we then have time, I can just go back to the area where there were Pikachus in the den is and see what happens. I think, I think, I think it's a solid plan. I think. Like, probably a solid plan. Yeah. Toxtricity. I already have a Toxtricity. Didn't even hunt for it, it just showed up. It literally just showed up. Pretty sure I didn't even have a sandwich for it. Or maybe I did, and it was like the one we'd use for, um, for Glimit. I don't actually remember anymore. Hmm. Voltorb? Yeah, we got that too. We got that on Wednesday. And I didn't have damp... I didn't have damp as an ability. So, it just like... I panicked. I charged into it. And I managed to catch it. Somehow. Without it exploding on me. If you missed, Safri, if you missed any shinies from last stream, there were five of them. Uh, we got uh, Tadbulb, we got uh, Pachirisu. Uh, what else we got? Tadbulb, pa Tadbulb, Pachirisu. Um, we got Voltorb, we got Toxtricity. No, the Toxtricity was the stream before. Tadbulb, Pachirisu. Voltorb. Uh, Slowpoke, and, um, we got a uh, Surskit as well. So... We did pretty good last stream, honestly. We really did pretty good. Magnemite. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. I think I've steered away from where I should be. Rotom. Rotom's pretty good too. I think we're just gonna... I think we're just gonna like get through the list. Get through my wheel of shiny hunts first and then we'll figure out the rest from there. Pincurchin. Does Pincurchin have a good shiny? Or is it just like... Mediocre. Arcane! It's Cinco de Mayo day. So Tasha gonna treat us with... You've guessed it! A 72 hour stream! And no, I'm not! You've guessed it! You're right again, Arcane! The butt becomes orange. The butt? Okay. So it just goes from yellow to orange. It's Revenge of the Sith, yes, and yesterday was, uh, May the 4th be with you. And usually I celebrate, but, um, due to some unforeseen circumstances within the household, 
I did not remember even to celebrate. So, uh, so yeah. Oh well, next year is another year we can celebrate then. No worries. The day comes back. One day I'll be right, I will never lose faith. Mmm, mm -mm -mm, no. I, uh, I genuinely believe that I will never do a 24-hour stream. Like, ever. There might come a day where I do a 12-hour stream. But I think that's as far as we go. I've run out of things to talk about! I think. Would people watch that? I, I genuinely have no idea. You are people, would you watch that? <laughs> Not sure if you would survive 12 hours, but would be interesting. I don't think I would survive 12 hours. I think I'd lose my voice or have to take like an entire like week off of streaming just to recover from that. Like I stream about nine hours per week, okay? Not like 12 hours per day. Like I would be, if I ever do a 12 hour stream, I would be streaming more in one single day than I would be streaming in my usual week. Which, the math doesn't math. Mine would probably go out of the window before, but I mean, I guess that would depend on what kind of work day I had. Um, Cause I'll be honest, today was kind of rough on the voice. And if you've, Actually, this entire week has been rough on the voice. Um, 12 hours, 12 days. I mean, if you're asking like 12 consecutive days, it's more likely for me to do a sh to do like a three hour stream 12 days in a row than it is for me to do a 12 hour stream. There is that, that is, that is a thing. Probably not gonna happen for a very long time. Just mind you, because I got a job. And I do need to have energy for said job, for that is what pays my bills. <laughs> you know? Kinda kinda gotta take that into consideration, huh? People work on jobs? Yeah, dude, they do! Haven't you heard? That's like the new thing. People work on jobs and get money for it. <laughs> Did not know you weren't aware of that, sir. So that they can then spend the money on paying bills and... Glasses. What? Yeah, I know, right? Like, so surprising. Like, there's no way that people know about that, right? That, like, you work a job to get money? And that you actually work at said job? Like, my goodness. That's the newsiest news there is, okay? The newsiest news. I bet that most of the people just go to work. Working is not something to do much. <laughs> Well, I'll be fair, my brain's kind of dead after this past week. Because my co-worker's on medical leave, so we gotta do our own work and then also do her work. And then we don't want to bother her, so it's a whole ordeal. Uh, doesn't the government pay everyone? I mean, if you work for the government, then yes, but if you don't, then no? Not really? Still does me for, for a few weeks. Good for you, dude. I mean, the government here pays you if you're on medical leave, but not the first three days. Um, oh gosh, something just flew into my eye. Hold on. It burns. Holy crap. I think I got it. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway. 
Unemployment benefits. Um, yeah, so here it's... You get uh, unemployment benefits, but only depending on, like, how much time you've worked previously. Uh, they give you, like, a percentage of, like, your last salary. So whatever your last salary was, they give you... Salary. Whatever your last salary was, they will give you a percentage of that salary. <laughs> I worked 13 years. Yeah, so that would mean you'd get, like, 80% of your salary. If you were here. You, you never get the full 100. So you get like 80% of it. Uh, and then you can request an extension for two years, I think. You can request the, that for like two years. But you have to prove that you're either studying. Um, or that you are um, actually actively looking for jobs. So you have to prove that you've sent, like, curriculums to people. And, like, go to interviews that they ask you to go to. So that, basically, you prove that you're actually looking. Um, which is a whole other thing that you can loophole yourself with. And there's people that take a lot of advantage from that as well. Other than that, you can also get um, medical benefits. Like, if you're on medical leave, um, they will pay you, I think it's 75% of your salary. If you're on medical leave, they don't put, they, once again, they don't pay the full amount. Um, but they do not pay you for the first three days that you're sick. So if you go to the doctor and they only give you three days of medical leave, you don't get paid those three days. Just point blank. <laughs> so, so yeah. There's a difference of pay that is in Portugal, 600 in Belgium is probably like 80. Oh, there's a large difference in pay, yeah. Uh, had to beg for fresh selling, but I got it since there are quite some job openings in IT here. Cool. So I didn't have to search for work during school. That is good. But also, like, you were in school. Like, that would have been, like, enough justification to, like, not job hunt at the same time because you were in school. Like, here, if you're in school, you don't have to job hunt. Basically, to keep your benefits. Like, if you lost your job and you have your benefits, if you're taking a course, uh, and you're proof, you just have to prove that you're taking that course when they ask you to prove it. Um, and yeah, that's essentially it. Not really, if you keep following courses, they still ask you to job hunt, else you take advantage of it. Yeah, but here's the thing, like, they cap you off at two years, so you only get unemployment benefits for the first two years. Uh, so you basically... Hello? Why are you not doing things? I don't think you're shiny. Um... Not really, or just for Adam. Oh no, here, like, you can do random courses. Like, it doesn't really matter what kind of course you're following. Like, the unemployment office, um, they actually offer you a whole set of courses that you can pick and choose from. And so long as you're doing them or actively hunting for a job, you get unemployment benefits. I don't think the rules have changed since COVID, but uh, pre-COVID, that, that was basically the rule. You can get up to two years of unemployment benefit. After that, um, of like, if you've worked for, I think it's over 18 months, you get 80% of your salary. Don't quote me on this. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Um, if you work for uh, 18 months, you have the right of 80% of your salary uh, for two years, provided you can prove that you are either actively hunting for jobs, uh, taking job offers that they will send you, or um, taking a course of their, like, one of their courses. Um, 
if in two years you don't get any results, as in you don't get a job, uh, they will give you, I think it's 30% of your salary. So they will reduce you from 80% to 30% for another year, and after that they cut you off. Like, you either get a job or you don't get paid by the government. Like, that, they give you no choice. Um, so it gives you enough time to, like, do a course if you want to, so that you can, like, change careers, if that's what you're inclined to doing. Um, but you still have that incentive of, you gotta get a job. So, yeah. Uh, what is a ballpark you can make now in Belgium with this diploma? Gross or net? Money you can spend. I, I'll be fair, I have no clue what the difference is between gross or net. It's just, what do you get at the end of the month that you can actually spend? I think my sandwich is done. No, it's not. Starting around 2k. To spend in Tasha's words. Yes, to spend. 2k? That is good. That is seriously good. At least for Portugal centers. If you get any job in Portugal that pays you 2k, you're golden. Like, you're basically rich. You're earning more than most people. And that is a very, very sad reality. Very sad. Uh, then IT is not really much different in Belgium than Croatia. IT guys around here have around 2k average, I think. <laughs> you guys get paid so much. You guys get paid so much. Like, maybe phone and laptop, not sure yet. We'll know after internship is over what the benefits are. Uh, but there's also like extra benefits like gas money and meal vouchers and stuff like that. Yeah, so... I'm gonna go do this raid. Does anyone want to... Actually, no. I need to go online if I want to figure out if this raid's still here. Uh, hold on. Save? Uh, it all depends on what the food worth is. Tasha, if it's much. Yeah, so here, um, from what I understand, and trust me, I don't understand much. Uh, if you learn creation, how to hold a knife, you could make around 1.1 euro 90 a month. 1 euro 90 per month. You, you mean 1 euro 90 per hour, maybe. 1.9k? Holy crap, that's a lot. Oh look, there's another raid that popped up over here. Hello, who are you? Nah. That, that, that's a lot. That is a lot. No, I think the way the, the... 10 years an hour day demand, but... That guy's worth more. I actually have no idea what minimum wage would convert to per hour. Let me check. I think minimum wage is 720. So if you divide that by four weeks and then divide that by five days and then divide that by 40 hours. Getting like 90 cents an hour? That doesn't make much sense. I think I did the math wrong. It feels like it definitely should be more than 90 cents an hour. It's like minimum wage here is like 720, I think.
Uh, also, gotta keep in mind the job is 8.30 to 5, no weekends and stuff, so very luxurious. I have flex hours and five days work is worth so much more. Hello, Oliver. Uh, are you... Tr no, please don't destroy the... Hello. Say hi to Oliver, guys. He's uh, trying to destroy the mic again. Just come over here. Yeah? You want scratchies? Okay, but like, I, I want to do the shiny hunts, Oliver. I can't just keep scratching you. Yeah, he is like the reason why I gotta work, okay? Like, I gotta work so I can feed my cats. That's how this works. <laughs> they demand food. And then sometimes they're picky and they don't want to eat it. Like today. Um, okay. So, my sandwich has run out. We're not gonna be doing any raids because the raids all changed. So, we'll see what happens there. You guys, should we? Should we? Gotta work for them cat kids. Yeah. Dude, seriously, I just ordered like 50 euros worth of like food for them uh, And supposed to get delivered like Monday or Tuesday, so And in the new place of creation now if you know how to do stuff with hand skilled manual work You can make as much money as you want. That is cool We're a tourist country, so it really doesn't make any difference um, Okay guys, let's let, let's spin the wheel shall we? Let's go see what next shiny we're hunting. Because we got the Mareep. And Poli witnessed us getting the Mareep. More importantly than getting the Mareep is Poli saw me get a shiny. So, let's go make it happen again. We got the wheel. Let's spit it. Okay, we can't do love this because there's no hoard, so we're gonna spin it again. Cloth! Oh, we're already in the right area! Let's go get the blue crab! Let's go! Uh, will it remember it tomorrow? What do you mean, will it remember it? Wh what will remember it tomorrow? You? Will you remember it tomorrow? Is that what you mean? Uh, cloth is a rock type, isn't it? A poly person? So I just read a poly person and I read it correctly out loud, but my brain somehow went to poly pocket. Not the same thing. I don't know if you guys are old enough to, or young enough, or, or both enough to know what the hell a Polly Pocket is, but... Uh... Yeah. Polly Pockets, man. They were hype. I know what it is. I think, I think there's like, there's like a little gap where it's like, either you're too old to know what it is, or you're old enough to know what it is because you bought it for your kids. Or you're too young to know what it is because it's just not you. Your generation. Where is the cloth? 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 I am aware that I am squinting again. I am going to get glasses made tomorrow. Oh, here we are. Cloft. Where do you spawn? Is it just where we are? It's just where we are. Um, I'm your age and I have no idea what that makes me. Mm. Not interested in toys aimed for females. Does that serve as an answer? I was actually trying to see what it is. Oh, it's pure rock. Okay. What is a rock type thing? Uh, rock is bacon. Okay, guys, I think we need to go buy bacon. I'm not mad about that. Can I have some bacon? Uh, 
Do I have bacon? I have prosciutto. Oh, I happen to have three bacon, but three bacon is only enough for one sandwich. We should go buy more bacon. Let's do that. Savage, then why do you know what it is? I'm confused. Cousins? Siblings? It was super popular back in the day here as well. Yeah, so like the... <laughs> It was, I think it was more popular in like the Netherlands than it was here. Um, because there were girls that were questioning like what the hell it, it was that I was playing with. Um, but then they like found it fun. Um, the only thing is even though I've lived here, like, my, like, pop culture education is mostly whatever the hell was happening 3,000 kilometers away from me. Which is weird. I only know, like, a few things. So sometimes Bruno comes out with, like, a reference to, like, something that happened, like, early 2000s. And I'm just like... Uh, sorry, what now? <laughs> if it was like a Portugal specific thing, I usually have no clue. On like, what the hell that's that was supposed to be. You still buy for 20 euros. Sasha, give me address. I'm sending you a box of this. Oh my gosh, please don't do that. I have cats and one of them is Pika. They would eat that. They would literally eat it. Where do I buy bacon? Do you sell bacon? <gasps> you do sell bacon. Let's go. Let's go buy 10 bacons. Still have eight of the cucumbers and they don't sell the other ones here. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. This is fine. Okay, let's go back and hunt for Cloft. Do we just send it in? She don't know we have address. D number and other stuff. Hey! That's not nice. What if I moved? And just set everything up in the same way so you didn't notice. It's from the old we had a plan days. Well, what if I moved and just didn't tell anyone? Hmm? Then what? You barely have money for a controller. Like, you wouldn't move. Maybe I don't have money for a controller because I moved. Have you considered that logic? Maybe? <laughs> you spent a year hunting one shiny. We just wanted it to end no matter what. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Come on. I spent six months hunting for a Wulu. Yes, I spent half a year hunting for a Wulu. But I got the Wulu. So start grinding for good response. Can't lose these arguments. <laughs> my brain is my brain is just half here, okay guys? My brain's half here. Uh, okay, let's just... Oh, right. I can't picnic while doing that, so... Picnic. Oh, right! I forgot to change the sprite! Hold on. Let me put... Let me put the cloth in here. Cloth, 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 cloth. Oh, it's so small. Is 
that look good? I feel like that looks fine. My brain is just... No, my brain just is... No, my, my brain is just... Not doing things. <laughs> it's just not doing things. I keep pressing the wrong button. Cucumber. Pickle. Three bacons! Let's see how easy the bacons are. And I don't think my brain just is, because I don't think it's possible for my brain to just be. So... Oh look, it's yellow and red! Holy crap, bacon is huge! Why is it so thick? How am I supposed to place this much bacon on a sandwich? It's so thick! Can I just stack it and just, like, keep stacking it? Holy crap! Why is bacon this thick? Isn't it supposed to be, like, thinly sliced? The- the pig even, like, drowns in the bacon! That's how you bake bacon in the woods. Thick piece. I've never seen bacon this thick. It's usually like sliced thinly over here. That is a massive sandwich. Holy crap. But I got the sandwich done. And we got all the rock thingies. Damn, that sandwich was... Large as hell. Did not know bacon was thick, okay? All I've known is thin. Like, very, like, thinly sliced so you can make it crunchy. You never went in the woods to bake bacon on open fire. Come on, Portugal, what are you doing? Okay, I have so many questions for you, Polly, but number one is why the hell would I go into the woods to make bacon? Why the hell would I go into the woods... For anything. I'm not going into the woods. Do I look like the kind of person that enjoys going camping? I do not enjoy going camping. If that wasn't obvious by now. Uh-uh-uh. No, 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 no. Camping is like the worst nightmare. Camping is like a big no bueno. Do not like camping. I literally cannot sleep when camping. Disappointed as usual. See, you still have reasons to use get good. No, but like for real though, why would I go camping? It's like the worst. It's like one of the worst things that I can do is go camping. Like, not even joking. Uh, Tasha? Yes? Did I miss a shiny? Oh, QWERTY. I'm just like, don't scare me like that! Blue is a very noticeable color. <laughs> uh, I will check after my sandwich because I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten the email yet. That would be a miracle if I did. That would actually be a miracle if I did.
Once we get the shine, I will check the court. My lips, they hurt because I've been chewing on them. Wait seven minutes and check the website. Yeah, or that. That can work too. I won't spoil, but... This might become a buy for me. Oh, wait! I remember seeing this... Oh, man, I'm an idiot. Listen, I've been really tired and I totally forgot, but when they... When they send the sneak peek email the other day, with, like, the next, like, yesterday and today shirts, I was going to send you a message, Savage, saying, like, there's Mandalorian shirts on the way. Because, like, clearly they were Mandalorian shirts. Uh, and you were looking for one. And, and then I was, I, I don't know what I was doing, but I completely forgot to text you about it. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. So I'm assuming those are the shirts you're eyeing right now. Just the Mandalorian ones. Indeed, Aroni. Alrighty. Speaking of Indeedaroni, Indeedaroni, Pepperoni, Pepperoni, Salami, Salami, Chocolate Salami, I'm happy to report. Don't tell Bruno. He's not listening right now. But I do still have like two or three pieces of chocolate salami in my fridge. He doesn't know about it, but that salami is mine. <laughs> I'm claiming it. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. <laughs> A what? A chocolate salami, Polly. It's our secret. <laughs> Don't tell the man he will steal my chocolate salami. Please explain, I'm very scared. <laughs> okay, so Polly, it is not made of meat or meat derivatives, okay? Don't worry, it is not chocolate mixed with meat. It's just chocolate and cookies in the shape of a salami. Also not a hammer situation. <laughs> so don't worry. Don't worry, we are not doing illegal food things, okay? We're not mixing chocolate and meat. We are not that crazy just yet. <laughs> just to be clear, it is a combination of chocolate and cookies. And then it's rolled up and shaped like a salami. So that is why they call it a chocolate salami. <laughs> That's it. That that's all there is to it. I need beer now. You scared me. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's actually quite delicious. Just like actually, pretty darn good. It's a good snack. I 
I was hearing explosions just now. So, people here don't celebrate Cinco de Mayo because it has nothing to do with Portugal. I don't, I don't, I don't freaking know. I don't know what's going on outside. does sound like fireworks outside. It's either fireworks or gunshots and oh people here aren't really allowed to carry guns unless they're part of like the military or police force so we're not in America. talk about the chocolate salami is making my stomach growl too. That's not very kind. Is that what happened in Serbia last days? We are very close to America. Uh, okay, so I don't exactly watch the news. Like, at all. Because it's never good news. Like, if you watch the news, you never hear good news. It's always... Gunshots here, violence there, here's a war, there's depression. You know, somebody died here, somebody got insulted there, somebody's got fired here, there's drama here, there's drama there, there's drama everywhere. And I'm just like, I just, I just can't deal, I just can't deal with that. That's just sad. So, I just don't watch the news. All the news I get is from what people tell me, and that's usually just footnotes from what's going on and it might sound really ignorant but it's really great for my mental health because like I can just be happy in my chair playing Pokemon and not worry about a thing which is very ignorant and I'm aware and people should know what's going around in the world Especially if it can affect like socioeconomics and socio-political situations, but it's all very depressing and I don't really need that in my life. So yeah, I feel like people would be a lot happier if they just didn't watch the news. Either that or the news needs to be like more proactive into sending good news mixed with bad news. Because all the news is bad news. This is not stream top, but kids these days are not mentally stable. No, they're not! And I wonder why that is. Everybody watches the news and it's all depressing. You know, maybe add in some good news. In between all the bad news. Like, hey, there was a school shooting in this school in America. And then the next news would be, lady survives deadly illness is now living with her children again or something like that that's more positive or like a cat cafe opened in this city adoptions have risen to all-time highs you know stuff like that that's more positive doesn't all need to be newsworthy just you know makes it some good with all the bad and maybe people will be less depressed Like, you got news outlet, like, channels airing news for, like, 24 hours straight. You might as well mix some positive news in between all that, you know? I feel like that wouldn't be too hard to do. This crab was literally floating. I do not know where I'm going 
with this hunt right now. Should I remain in this area? Also, there's a lot of these, like, little... Rock Super Mario mushrooms spawning. Does anyone know what the shiny looks like? I thought it was pink, but... I don't actually know, for sure. Can someone confirm what the shiny uh, for, like, the Super Mario Mushroom looks like? You know, just in case, because there's a bunch of them spawning. It's like orange. Okay. Like, is it noticeably orange, or is it like, meh? Not really noticeable. Uh, speaking of my mushroom, I saw the film recently and the message is not. Um, it was better than I expected, though a bit too short. Noticeable. Okay, cool. I like it when the shinies are noticeable. I think they'd look a lot cooler. Um, yeah, the, the Super Mario movie was really fun. And I think that's, that's... I think that was the whole point of the movie. It was just to be fun. And... They managed. They did it. They made a fun movie. Like, no complaints. The movie was fun. And that's all there is to it. No spoilers? Of course not. Of course, no spoilers. It was just a really fun movie. Like, if... Like, don't get too much, like, into... Like, the specificities of the lore of Super Mario. Like... Like, little things here and there. If you really look at it, that weren't the most correct but honestly they were just trying you can clearly see that they were just trying to make a fun movie and in my opinion they succeeded at that it was a fun watch ton of easter eggs still kind of mad that the cinema did not let the credits roll all the way to the end so i can see the end credit scene which i then had to google later and watch it in very, very poor quality because they didn't have the good quality one yet. Um, but, uh, but yeah. We're going to watch Guardians of the Galaxy tomorrow. I swear, if there's an end credit scene and the cinema cuts it off, I am going to complain. So much. Like, I'm gonna complain so much if there's an end credit scene on Guardians of the Galaxy and they shut the movie off before we see it. Because I'm still mad at them that they did that with Super Mario. Like, on the way back home, I spent the entire way back home just basically ranting to Bruno how they shouldn't have done that. So... So yeah. Uh, Easter eggs of the lore for sure, especially for the hardcore. Yeah, there were so many Easter eggs. Like, I did not catch all the Easter eggs. I can tell you that much. But there were a lot of them. Some really obvious, some not so obvious. I'm, at this point, I'm just hoping for a second one and a L Luigi's Mansion movie as well. I think that would be nice. How much time do I have left? Oh my goodness, we're already halfway through the sandwich and not a single shiny yet. Okay. Game's playing hard to get right now. Some more crabs over here. 
No more crabs over here. But, uh, Savage, did you watch the movie or, like, not yet? Charlie Day uh, said he would be up for Luigi's Mansion movie if they ever considered it. I mean, they kind of, like, teased it a little bit. And no, this is not a spoiler, Savage. Um... Because I'm not telling you how they did it. I'm just telling you that they did it. Which is not a spoiler. A spoiler would be if I told you how they did it. Um, but you should really go watch the movie, sir. It's good fun. It's a good fun movie to watch. As long as you go into the movie like... Like we're just gonna have fun. It's a good fun movie to watch. Because if you go into the movie like... Oof. Okay. Like, hardcore super fan, they gotta get this right, this right, this right, and this right. Then you're not gonna get very far. Is this one a different color? I feel like this is a different color. Holy crap! We're talking about Super Mario, and we got the Pokemon version of the Mushroom. As a shiny. Uh, okay! We got a shiny halfway through the sandwich. Uh, what Pokeball do we use for this? This has the stripes. That could look fun. Guys, any recommendations on which Pokeball I should use to match it? I'm honestly feeling the nest ball. I'm feeling the nest ball at this point. Just because of the stripes, it has nothing to do with the green, but... Hmm... I don't actually know with this one. How does this look evolved? How does this look evolved? Hold on, let me just check. Oh, it's kind of just... Oranges and browns. Okay. I will use get good for all times. Yes. Because I can't choose a Pokeball. Uh, it's literally just oranges and browns. Hmm. I wish there were more orange Pokeballs, actually. I feel like that would be cool. Uh, I'm honestly feeling the nest ball, so we're gonna use that one. It's got the stripes. It matches with the stripes. That's all. That's all. I learned my expectations for the movie and was surprised. Got a few heart left. Dude, I was singing along. Like, so much so that Bruno kind of, like, tapped me a couple of times to, like, shut up. But there were other people in the cinema singing, singing along as well, so... Not my fault. They put Mr. Blue Sky in the movie, so like... Also not a spoiler, it's a song. <laughs> they put Mr. Blue Sky in the movie. I didn't really understand the placement of the song though, but I sang along and it was fun. So. No way. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Another one? I'm not even hunting for you. You're going into an Ultra Ball. We're getting creative right now. one like a minute ago and we're saving again <laughs> not sure you understand spoilers don't go into details but it's not a spoiler it's just a song that they played in the movie how is a song that they played in the movie a spoiler I'm not telling you where in the movie they played the song. I'm not telling you what context the song has. I'm just saying that 
the song is there. Anything that's not in the trailers is a spoiler. Okay, fine! Didn't think you would go into that much detail for when what's a spoiler and what isn't. Like, it's not even a song from Mario. It's just a song. Okay. The child who voiced the blue star is probably the most terrifying kid in their school now. Oh my gosh. The blue star shows up in the trailer, right? I'm off. This is too many spoilers for me. I have a good weekend, guys. See you next week. Bye, Polly. I hope you enjoyed the shiny looks. This was to compensate for all the shinies you've missed in Sword and Shield. <laughs> you now witnessed three of them. <laughs> Have a good one, Polly. Have a nice weekend, dude. See you next time. Oh, you mean the Luma? It's like, what? The Luma was creepy, dude. Blue Star. Did not think the Blue Star would be that depressing. Colonel laughed at the sweet relief of Tempered. Yeah. The Luma was crazy. I think I think everyone, regardless of if you saw the movie or not, if you at least saw the trailer, I think we can all collectively agree that the Luma was crazy. Blue Star? Katakuku very depressed. Okay, but like, can I get a crap though? I got six minutes left. Yes, I got two shinies already, but they're the wrong shinies. I just want to get the claw. Imagine if I got a third one. I don't know if I should cry or if I should, if I should laugh if that was the case. more cloths so many cloths wait what am i doing do i get even further up i don't think i do they stop spawning if i do i think can we just get a blue one please I mean, I think I have enough bacon to make another sandwich anyway, so we could totally make a second sandwich for cloth. If necessary. If needed. If we don't get the blue, we can make something happen. bacon sandwich brown sauce added dude bacon in this game is huge like i did not realize bacon would be this thick like very very thick because like all the bacon you buy in supermarkets here is like really thinly sliced did not think it would be that thick
They, 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 I don't know what they look like, but they don't look like bacon to me. I could tell you that much. They are giant. Many, many no's over here. Oh, by the way, you guys want to hear a funny, but also really dumb story from work today? I think it's one of the ones that I can actually share because it doesn't involve any names. And yes, I'm aware I have not been telling a lot of stories from work lately. But that's mainly because most of them that have been happening have been needing to be shared with names, otherwise they're not funny. But this one... I can share without sharing names. Which is nice for a change. That is if you guys want to hear a work story. That part's up to you. Uh, when I went to sign the intern papers, uh, the CEO was like, Yeah, you probably are gonna have to sign an NDA for privacy concerns. Yeah. I told him I had to do it as well for the school exams. We needed to print. Imagine that getting out. Yeah. Leak season would take definitely a different turn. Entire school exams, yeah. That would be bad. I mean, granted, uh... I, I don't know, I don't know how it works there, but like... I kind of remember people saying, like, when it was exam season for me... I kind of remember people saying like, oh, this is just gonna be like the exam from three years ago. Um, so if people studied the exam from three years prior to, to the exam they're taking, uh, usually like 50% or more of the questions would be the exact same, which Honestly, really cool for the students because like you kind of have a direction of what to study, but on the other hand I'm not sure that that was their intention that people found out that the exams are basically 50% of the ones three years beforehand I guess there's only so many ways that you can ask a question to get a specific answer for a certain topic Or like it, they run out of options. Especially if it's like specific topics like history, math, stuff like that. You really can't. You can't really create your way around facts, you know? Science, history, math. You have standard answers for those things, so there's only so many ways you can ask the question. holding an Eckley. Do I still have sandwich left? 30 seconds! I think I need to make a second sandwich. My goodness, we're going into second sandwich... Sa sandwich? We're going into second sang... 
We're going into second breath territory. I cannot say the word sandwich right now. Okay, so... Is this it? Two seconds. Yeah, this is it. This was it. Uh... Okay, I guess we're changing the number because we... We need to make another sandwich! We need to make another sandwich! <laughs> that happened. That hasn't happened in a while. Okay, let me have some water. You want a tour as well? Okay. That's fine. I'm gonna make a sandwich and then I'm gonna tell the story because honestly, worth it. Uh, wait. I I I need to change the count. Bread. We're going up to two. All right. Pikuniku. Let's get it done. Okay, so I definitely should still have enough bacon because I did buy 10 bacons. So, that sounds so weird with this plate like that. Uh, let's make it spicy this time. Okay, big blocks of bacon, let's go set them up like they're Legos. Or not. Set them up like the Tetris? How bad is this? I saved after the last shiny. I don't know where the last save was after that. But we dropped an entire bacon, so... <laughs> I'm doing so good, guys. I did save, I did save after last shiny, so there is a chance that the sandwich is still running. <laughs> Let's find out where we left off, shall we? There's a chance the sandwich could still be running. But I don't actually know. No, the sandwich is not running. gonna double check the shinies just to be safe yeah we got the three shinies actually should I just check right now if they have thingamajigs no ribbon no ribbon no ribbon okay so none of the shinies today have marks uh it is daytime right now that's fun uh okay picnic Take two. Hopefully I don't drop a bacon this time. I now also know that it's safe for me to restart whenever I want, because... We should be fine. Starting over. Okay. <sighs> Let's do this. I 
I need to somehow fit four at the bottom. So that I can fit more over top. Oh my goodness. I feel like I should be scared. <gasps> no! <sighs> A pickle fell off the plate. close. I got the bacon to stay on the bread. <laughs> uh, I don't even like pickles. Okay. Take three. That is provided this works. You know, what? I'm just gonna tell the story while um, this loads and while we prepare the sandwich and maybe it'll go better. Who knows? Maybe I can multitask and have better aim? Freaking no. Anyway. Um, so the story goes as follows. A client came into the shop today. Um, and they wanted to buy a new box, like a new receiver. They had one that was still functioning, but they wanted to buy a new one. Now, the thing is, one of the main differences between the one he had and the one he was gonna buy is that the one he had had a 5-volt charger. No, had a 12-volt charger, and the one he was gonna buy had a five volt charger. So I, but the plug is the same. So I was just like, okay, so just be very careful that you don't use your old charger for this new box. Because if you do, you could potentially break the box. And the guy got really confused. And when I say really confused, like I had to explain to him that the chargers are different and that the cucumber just fell off the plate. <laughs> no, I did not tell the client that the cucumber fell off the plate just now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Could you imagine if I just like mid conversation, sir, the cucumber fell off the plate. Um, no, but like, I, uh, I basically was just like, sir, be very careful. If you plug the, if you use the wrong charger with the box, you can blow up the box. And that does not fall within the warranty of the box. And the guy was just staring at me like, like first he was confused because like he didn't know where to plug it. So I was just like, you plug the power lead into the socket and he was just staring at me like but I have an extension does that work and I'm just like yes that works and then I had to explain to him to be careful not to mix them up because if they if he mixed them up like he would break the box like sooner or later the box would break because you can't put 12 volts on a 5 volt box that's just not a thing you you do um, but yeah, it took me three attempts to explain it to him before the, the coin finally dropped. Like you could actually see him realize what I was explaining to him. It was like, oh, right. 
Exactly, exactly. So like, yeah, it took three attempts to explain to him before he finally figured out what the hell I was saying. Uh, and was just like, okay, yeah, no, I understand. Uh, I am fully expecting him to come back in like a week trying to claim the warranty for this box. Um, and then us having to tell him like, nope. No can do, sir, because you used the wrong charger and this does not fall in the warranty. <gasps> okay. Okay, we got a good base. So long as no... No cucumbers fall. Okay, adding the pickles now. attempts to make this sandwich there are slices barely falling down barely not falling down it's like a very poor constructed pyramid a pyramid of bacon cucumbers and pickles but a pyramid nonetheless Let's go, cloth round two. Nothing fell off. Thankfully. Pack up and go. Alrighty. Uh, just a fair warning, by the way, guys. Uh, I think after this sandwich, I'll be ending stream. Just, just letting y'all know. The sandwich takes 30 minutes, so... So yeah, I am very tired. I'm not sure if you're noticing it or not, but I am very tired and I am... My voice is actually kind of starting to hurt. Because, like, I did have to talk quite a fair bit today and I did stress my voice a bit today as well. So just just want to keep it a little bit on the safe side. Just make sure I still have a voice for Monday. But yeah, you're tired. Well, all the easier to roll into bed with those tires. Dude. Okay, okay, that actually reminds me. I saw this picture of uh, two kittens sleeping inside a tire and the caption was they were so tired. Honestly, it was really, really fun. It was a very fun description. The kittens sleeping in the tire were tired. They were indeed. Nothing says tired more than sleeping inside of a tire. Yawning will begin. Or has begun, I should say. to go look at the QWERTY shirts. I said I would go look and then I forgot. I'm sorry. Should I go do that right now? I think I'll do that right now. Just l land somewhere over here. And then send uh, 
Send this little dude out. Let me go. Let me just go check the emails for QWERTY. Yep. Yep. So, uh, Savage, are you, um... You're going for the white shirt, right? Yeah. I figured. <laughs> it's the coolest one out of the three. But that's not a difficult choice. It's the coolest one of the three. No way. It's the third one today. That's the third one today. I can complete the entire family and have one of each evolution. I'm just gonna Pokeball this one. What do you mean shinies are rare? We got three shinies of the same species today and it's not even the one we're looking for. Imagine if the cloth was blue and I could see it from this battle. <laughs> there is no way in hell that the odds for this are not completely busted. They like have to be completely busted. They just have to. Two sandwiches, three Nackleys. Did its eyes just turn red for a second? Like for just like a millisecond? Oh, I caught it. All right, so um, we can now evolve one of each and get the entire family. Not exactly what I was hunting for, but sure, I'll take it. Can I now get the blue crab, please? Can't believe I got a third one. That's ridiculous. Getting loads of shinies that I'm not even hunting for. And people still say the odds in this game aren't broken. They are freaking broken. Utterly and completely broken. If I start to battle a bunch of these dudes, will they spawn more? Like, does this, does this have, like, the, the, the whole thing that Sword and Shield had where, like, if you just battle a bunch of them, they spawn more often? I am terrible at aiming. Holy crap. Because, like, I really don't need more Shiny Knackly. If I get another Shiny Knackly, I might just trade it off to someone. That would like it. Cause like we're getting way too many shiny knackly over here. Oh, 
I fight it? Why aren't you fighting it? Guys, what the hell is going on here? Was this a new glitch or something? What? I'm... I... I have no idea what just happened. Could have been a new glitch? Or something else entirely? I have absolutely no idea. That was really weird. Oh, dang it, I ran into one. That's not blue. That is not blue. Ah, good job, Azu. You can get praise for hitting a crit. I have no idea if what I'm doing right now is a good way to get things done, but... So figure out if it works or not. Those two are in blue. And there isn't any up here. Oh, no, I was wrong. There's one up here. Time I've left. 18 minutes. I got 18 minutes left. A few spawn points over here. Nothing too impressive, I guess. We're not going to get the blue crab today. I think we're going to need an extra sandwich for the blue crab. Like, it's going to be a three sandwich hunt. Or maybe a four sandwich hunt. I mean, Symbio said it took him, like, what, four or five sandwiches to get this thing? Like, many hours? So, I don't know. 
Maybe cloth just has like a lower shiny odds rate thing? Actually, no. But don't think fighting them is making them spawn more. Okay. I um uh, don't see much interest in coming to that area. Sorry if I'm less entertaining right now. I'm kind of losing energy, if you haven't noticed. I'm trying my best here. I think I've run out of steam. Yet another reason why it's a good idea for me to end stream after this sandwich is over. Because I feel like I've run out of things to talk about. Tasha talks slower, you know she's losing steam. Yeah, dude, like for real. If I talk slower, like without even trying, without even consciously trying, it's like I know it's it's time to go. Also, I'm being distracted with waifu, so I'm not engaged as much as I should be. Oh no, don't worry about it. I don't have a lot left to say. I think I'm pretty much told all the stories I had to tell. That I can tell, that is. Oh, if I could disclose clients' names... I would make so much fun of some of these names. You guys would laugh so much with some of these names. If only, if only I could. But, you know... There's the whole personal information protection laws and things. So. That's not gonna happen, sadly enough. Still have 12 minutes left. I mean, this is more or less at the time that we got the first uh, Nackley, so. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky.
But again, we did get four shinies today. Somehow. Only one of which we hunted for, so... Hi, sir. How you doing, Oliver? just checking if Oliver was gonna kick Jasmine out but Jasmine's like all the way up here on the tree so so that is fine that one is not blue neither are all of those Okay. This hunt's actually taking some effort over here. Not expect that. Wonder if, like, it's like proper nighttime right now. I wonder if clocks spawn more at night than during the day. It's either that or the actually killing all these cloths is actually helping. I don't know. On the other hand, it seemed like I'd be killing cloth and then a lot of knuckly spot in its place, which... Also, not really what I was looking for. Eight minutes left. I don't think we're gonna make this one today. I think we're gonna have to continue this one on Monday. Okay. Unexpected plot twist. This shiny hunt is not going as smoothly as I thought. I was sitting on my feet, and now my feet are sleeping. Okay, I need to stand up because I think I sat on my feet too long and now I can feel my legs like like there's 
don't know how else to explain it. It feels like there's ants like running up and down my legs, but like inside my legs. Do you know that feeling? I am not describing it correctly, but I hope that's understandable enough. Ooh. Circulation has cut out. Circulation has cut out. Yep. You got ants. Ants running up and down your legs. Clearly, I can drive, but I cannot. I can drive a car, but apparently I cannot control Miraidon and move my legs at the same time. Okay, if I just do this, maybe. I don't. I don't necessarily know what I'm doing. Left side's worse than my right side, actually. At this point. What a shameful display. I am trying my best! Ugh. Fine, I'll sit back down. There. I am trying my best! And if my best isn't good enough, then too bad. Guess it's too bad. Well, it is what it is. I'm not gonna be fussing about that too much. I do what I can with the capacities that I have, and that's about it. Capacities? Capabilities. I guess capacities would work too, right? Yeah, this is gonna be a three sandwich hunt. Like, I can feel it in my bones and in my poorly circulated legs at the moment. Cloth is gonna need three sandwiches. Three minutes left. Right now, all that's spawning are Knackly. Can I get some crabs to spawn, please? Just, you know. I should look if there's like a better area to hunt for these things that maybe don't have as many Knackly. Exactly. Wait, does this mean that we technically phased three times? Or does that not count in this game? 
Because, like, they just spawn the same typings. Actually, no. I don't actually know. How many minutes left in the sandwich? I think like two. One and a half to two minutes. Ah, yeah. That's pretty on spot with that one, huh? One and a half to two minutes. One minute and fifty seconds. Spot on. Don't stay up too long after stream. I won't. I won't. You make it sound like I'm forcing myself. I'm not. I'm just reverting back to the way I played these games. Before I started streaming, which is basically silent. Unless it's for potatoing. Yeah, potatoing is gonna happen for sure. Potatoing is a must. That's all. If you don't realize it yourself. Yeah, no, I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm aware of my own capabilities. Don't worry. It's just, I start, like... How do I explain this without sounding like an absolute weirdo? Not trying to fish for anything. I know, I know, I know. How do I... Uh, okay, so I used to play Pokemon games, like, fully silent. Like... Okay? Fully silent. So, basically what's happening when I'm streaming is that I am... Forcing myself... To speak while I game. Now, this is all well and fun, especially if there's, like, people to bounce off of. Fully sell it until you see a shiny. Yeah, basically. Basically. Um, now, usually, if there's people in chat that I can bounce off of... Oh, the sandwich is over. Um, it's It makes it easier to, like, continuously talk, because talking is not my forte. Let's just put it that way. It's not my strong suit, and I think streaming has made it even more clear that it's not my strong suit. Um... <laughs> you guys might not think so, but it's... For me, it's very, very obvious that it isn't. Um... I feel like I've gotten better at it. Yeah, sorry I was not there to bounce on. No worries, no worries. The thing is, like, even if there's people to bounce off of, if I get tired, I slow revert back into my usual gaming self which is fully silent and just watching and looking at everything uh, which I'm aware that for stream is not the most entertaining thing you can do <laughs> so yeah it is fine though it is fine yeah you kind of died out today yeah I had a Less energy than I thought I did. <laughs> I had less energy than I thought I did. I'm gonna put you guys on full screen. I already saved the game, so we're good to go. Yeah. I started, I started, yeah, I fizzled, I went like, I was like here and I went like, gone. <laughs> just, just fully gone. Like, not there anymore. So, with that said, since I was just like silent, not there anymore, I'm just gonna go ahead and disappear for the rest of the weekend. <laughs> I'll disappear for the rest of the weekend and we'll all be good and fine. Take a couple of naps, edit some photos, make some thumbnails during this weekend, get my glasses made tomorrow, watching Guardians of the Galaxy tomorrow, so... Tomorrow's gonna be a... Interesting day. Glasses time. Yeah. It's gotta happen. Like, I can, I can literally, I can see myself, like, I can feel myself squinting a lot of the time when I'm at work as well. So I'm just like, just doing like this. Instead of having my eyes fully opened. 
So, yeah, I think it's time. I held off for as long as I could. Um, it's it's time to get the lasses back, back on the face, and uh, hopefully I'll find a frame that is light, or at least lighter than this frame, because this frame is actually it's pretty light, but it's still heavy for me. So I think we're gonna go for like the super super thin ones if they have them. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I will be surprising myself, and then once the glasses are fully made and I can pick them up, we'll be surprising you too, because I'll just suddenly show up with glasses on my face. Terrifying. <laughs> it was nice. Yeah. We're gonna revert back to the good old days where my first glasses were literally just wireframes. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I will update you on the glasses situation on Monday. Or I'll already have the glasses, but I highly doubt I will. I highly doubt I will. But yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for being here. I'm sorry I kind of fizzled out energy-wise. Uh, I'll be sure to bring my A game on Monday. Uh, since we have to make a third sandwich for Cloft. I think it's the first time we're making a third sandwich for a Pokemon as well. So that's going to be interesting. Um, yeah. Thank you all so much for being here. I will be back. T game, Tasha game, tiny game, <laughs> time out game. <laughs> Guys, I'll be back on Monday, 8.30 p.m. my time, which is 9.30 for most of Europe. Should be 12.30 PST and like 6 or 7.30 Australia Sydney time. Once again, today we ended up with four shinies, three of which we didn't hunt for. Broken. Anyways, guys, have a fantastic weekend, everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next one.